I have another Parker sonnet to show you today. This time I'll be showing you the prestige chiseled silver with gold trim. And it's in this box, just like the last one was. <laughs> oh man. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the box because this is kind of blah, right? So it's just whatever. The so Parker sonnet. It's been around a little while. I've seen it quite a bit on social media. And I've almost come close to pulling the trigger a few times. And it actually was a post that, um, it's a pen store in the Netherlands called Fonto Plumo. And they just started carrying Parker pens. And it was this pen. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can find it. And because I, I've been, I've actually been eyeballing this particular pen for some time and I just never, just never went for it until yesterday or the day before, whenever I ordered this. I like this pen because it has a timeless design, just like this box. It's very timeless. It's a little plain, but it has the Parker logo in gold on the front of the box and you open it and there it is. Yes. Timeless design. And it's just, you know, it's a very classic pen. And what I like about this pen, it's, you know, this could be for a man or a woman, in my opinion. It's elegant for everyone, just pure elegance. And so this is chiseled, or it's also known as in the French word, chiselé. Chiselé. I think I'm saying it right, I don't know. But the chiseled look is this, you know, squared pattern um, all around the pen. And the great thing about this pen is that this isn't just your typical metal. This is actually a sterling silver pen. Yeah. So in my opinion, you know, the sterling silver, that just to me is, that's so luxurious. And it's even, it's stamped on the back of the cap right here. I'm not for sure if, I mean, I'd like to think that the whole pen is sterling silver. I know for sure in the description, it says that the cap is sterling silver, but it doesn't really make it clear whether or not the barrel is. I think it would be kind of weird to have a pen made all sterling silver where you only do like part of it, if that makes sense. Doesn't matter. I think I, I think it's a nice pen regardless. And it has that classic Parker arrow clip on the cap. And then right below on the bottom of the cap, it has a little band around it says Parker and made in France. Top of the spinning, it's a little, it's a little plain, but that doesn't bother me. And then the bottom of the barrel here doesn't have that same texture. It's actually not very heavy either. You know, it's it's considerably light considering that it is a metal pen. So the cap does it pulls off, and so and I love this is what I love about this pen is this contrast of gold and silver. There's actually another contrast in here too. Uh, so you have the contrast of gold and silver and check out that 18 karat nib. This is a fine nib. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So you have contrast of textures, especially the section is brushed metal. So for all you metal section haters, this might help your finger to not slip down the section while you're writing. I personally don't have that problem, uh, but I know there are some people out there who do. But look at that. And then you have these little bands or this lip right here at the bottom and right here, and it's shiny. So it has a nice contrast of textures, which I think is really lovely. It does come with a converter, which is always great for me because I hate having to buy those converters separately. I think it's bull crap. I was trying to control my cussing there just in case the kids are watching, but it's baloney, right? Especially when you spend so much for a pen, but no, this comes with that. And again, I thought those Parker converters, man, they like, <laughs> when you turn the knob here, it just, it's so stiff. It's like so weird, but it is a proprietary cartridge converter system. The pen does come inside of here. And I, gosh, I'm realizing I forgot to even do this, but underneath the false bottom of the box, oh, mine's missing its paperwork, but it would have just been the warranty anyway. But it does come with two, uh, cartridges, you know, so you could keep that with you, um, you know, whenever you run out of ink or whatever. I like to use them for emergencies. Let's see if it posts. Does it post? Yes, it does. It posts so nice. 
Just an elegant, gorgeous pen. I'm super impressed. And I'm really hoping I have the same awesome experiences that most people who own Sonnets have. They usually brag about the nice bouncy nibs that the Parker Gold nibs have. So I'm really hoping that I find that. Because to be honest, the Durafold, the Duafold pens have, they have really nice gold nibs, nice big gold nibs, but they're not very bouncy. In fact, they're like stiff as nails, but I still find them pleasurable to write with. But you know, there's just something about a nice gold nib that has a little bounce to it. And I can really appreciate that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's gonna be with this pen. Well, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink her up. Let's see how she writes. Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Parker Sonnet Chisley Silver with Gold Trim Prestige Pen. I don't know if I put those words in the right order, but it doesn't matter because I got the pen, so whatever. But you know, what an elegant pen. And I have to say, you know, Parker doesn't get a lot of attention. It's kind of like Waterman. Parker and Waterman have been around a long time. There's a lot of history behind these pens, but I've noticed that there really isn't a whole lot of excitement behind them. And it's like, really, how can you not be excited about something that looks like this? I mean, this is nicer than some of the acrylic pens that, you know, I've, that I've got. And I mean, you know, it's nice. It's real nice. So I really don't understand why people are, they don't talk about Parker, but um, maybe, maybe that'll change in the future. I don't know. But I am pretty happy with this. It's a nice pen and just to show you again what it looks like in the hand. It's actually a nice size. It's perfect size for me. If you have bigger hands, maybe not so much, but whatever. I think it's a preference thing. I don't know what else to say about this, except for, you know, I'm gonna, gonna just drool all over it. And by the way, that nib did well. I'm happy with it. I don't know if I prefer the fine or the medium nib or both. I like to, you know, it just depends on what I'm writing and my mood, et cetera, et cetera. If you're able to get your hands on one of these beautiful pens, I highly encourage you to do it. It's classic. This is actually something you could pass down, you know, through generations and it's gonna, it's gonna last. It's gonna do well. All right. 
That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. And that's how the ink flows.